Hi, Sheba here. I'm going to do a little uh, discussion of a fragrance that I found. Um, I was at the Salvation Army Thrift Store, which is an interesting topic in itself, but I came upon an entire collection from, I'm going to say, I'm going to say around 1970 to early 80s um, Avon perfumes that had never been opened uh, or used. Um, it was really strange. I mean, two, two full shelves of every type of Avon. And I found this really old one that I, I, maybe some of you have heard of this. I've never even heard of this. I had to research it to find out what year it came out. But I started spraying it around. And if you ever go to thrift stores, it's an interactive experience. And uh, some people are really into it and some people just don't care. Usually the people that shop there are, you know, willing to play along and do whatever you want to do. And so I started spraying this fragrance around and they, um, they really liked it. And it's not musky at all, but this is what it's called. It's called Bird of Paradise. It came out in 1969. It is the ugliest, in my opinion. I don't think anybody's going to say this is a gorgeous bottle. I really don't. It is so ugly. They had a lot of different um, uh, different types of bottles, but I picked this one. Some of them were decorative, you know, with in birds and Christmas and all this other crap. But I picked this one because it's uh, just a regular spray bottle, and it's freaking ugly to me. It's got that really late 60s weird looking green color. Is this supposed to be like a genie in the bottle kind of thing? I don't know. This comes off. It's a it's a it's actually feels like it's a metal bottle. And um look at the spray. It's really got a nice mist to it. Like look at it again. It's a very micro micronized mist. This smells really good. Um, and let me read to you what other people say that it smells like. Okay. I know it came out in 1969. Um, it's a complex woody green floral, okay? Um, it's, uh, some people say it reminds them of vintage deorescence. I've never smelled that, but if it smells like this, it's pretty good. Um... A I would, I would, it was, to me, when I first smelled it, it was a very much lighter version of Mitsuko. And um, what it comes down to, it, it's not very long lasting. It, it definitely, the, it becomes cinnabar. And this is a tester. Um, the, the cinnabar was put into a different um, bottle, but... It smells so much like this. It's freaking me out. And this came out in 1978. Cinnabar by Estee Lauder, okay? But this is just a really light version of like a Mitsuko, uh, which would be, it's very green in the top notes. And then uh, definitely goes into the Cinnabar in the base notes. And I don't know if I wrote down anywhere about Cinnabar, but... Any of you that know the Estee Lauder counter know all about cinnabar, and it's there. It's very. This is very heavy, and this is a much lighter version of that. So maybe they base cinnabar on this crazy Avon fragrance called Bird of Paradise. Um, but the dry down, definitely, definitely, definitely. So oh, here it is. I found it. I knew I wrote it down. Okay, it's grand and spicy, obviously with a name like Cinnabar. It's an oriental spicy. So we have like a green floral mixed with an oriental spicy. It's really good. Uh, and so in Cinnabar, the top notes are spices, pea, cloves, bergamot, tangerine, orange blossom. And then we go into carnation, cinnamon, which to me, all I smell is cinnamon. Jasmine, ylang ylang, rose, um, lily of the valley and lily, which I don't smell at all in it. And the base is uh, balsam, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla, vetiver, and incense, okay? 
I just found it really bizarre that Avon would come up with a scent. First of all, the name Bird of Paradise is very strange. And then to have it actually smell like cinnabar when all is said and done, I thought it was really fun. So any of you who don't know what cinnabar smells like, see how this one doesn't spray as beautifully? You, you know, just go and, and um, spray it at the counter. They always have it at an Estee Lauder counter. It's totally unisex. Um, but on the right person, cinnabar is, is, oh, it's bewitching. I can't really wear it as well as a lot of other people in the universe, but it's, it's a very beautiful scent. So I just thought it would be really fun to share with you. If you do go to Salvation Army, you can find some really bizarre, who knows, who knows what you find there as far as fragrances goes. I mean, I didn't want to get the ones that the top screwed off because they were kind of like gross to me. But since this it just has the regular spray top, um, I went for it. But anyway, I just was, I wish I could have filmed in there because I was just spraying it in the air and, and people were just commenting and, and it was universally positive for what that's worth. But anyway, I hope you got a kick out of that. I did. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.